nice fill here, I think 72 hours. Coming to you from uh, Ashley Gorge here, so you can see it behind me. And uh, what we're doing today is we're going to be looking in the forest for some naturally occurring bush tucker. We're going to be looking at honeydew, and what we need for that is a natural uh, beach forest. And um, if we take a look behind us here, there's actually quite a few beech trees. In fact, a lot of this area is made up of beech. And uh, so what we're going to do is take a bit of a hike through this bush here, find us a beech tree, and uh, then we'll have a look at the honeydew itself and uh, discuss a bit more about what exactly it is. So uh, we'll head on in now and I uh, hope you enjoy. Alright, so we're going to head through this bush here. if we can't find our way up to that beech tree on the one holding the camera on one hand but there she blows and hopefully she'll have some of nature's finest bush tucker for us to have a look at It doesn't look like this is going to be an overly good example actually, so there's a little bit there. We might head on and see if we can find a better tree than this one. And uh, come back to you shortly. Right, so we've come a bit further up the river and what we're looking for is the beech tree or mountain beech. And uh, here's a good example here, it's a huge tree. And the difference you'll notice there is it's got that very black trunk so what that is is actually a sooty coloured mould and that grows on the beech trees and that's where we're going to find the uh, honeydew growing as well so you can see they're all throughout this forest here there's another good one there's another one here and if we look up here oh, it's pretty hard to see with the sun the way but that big tree there with the black is also a beech tree so they're all over the place so what we'll do is we'll get up close to one of them and I'll show you um, the mould and uh, the honeydew and how it grows and how it's produced. Alright, we'll so this is exactly the sort of tree we're looking for here, the mountain beech. So you can see it's got that browny, black, sooty moss growing up it here. It carries on all the way up the tree. There's some great examples further up there, but we can't reach that high at the moment. But if we look at the tree itself, on the mould on the outside you'll see these whisker like protrusions now what they are is actually the and this sounds pretty gross but the anal tubes of these insects and what they do is they burrow into the tree and they are eating the sugars from the tree the sap and the sugars and then whatever they can't digest themselves they excrete in this beautiful clearish amberish sugary liquid here which we call honeydew and now we can get honeydew honey in shops um, and obviously look at the size of these you'd need to have a lot of trees and bees harvesting this stuff but if we take this knife out and we head down here what we'll do is we'll run the knife up the trunk here
along these tubes. I'll just take it down a bit as well. There's a lot more further down the tree. And what we end up, if you can see this, is a beautiful, clearish, sugary liquid. And that is the honeydew there. And, if I may do so, it is fantastic. It's got a nice sugary honey taste to it. Alright guys, so what I've done is I've just taken a bit of time to um, get a bit more of that honeydew off the tree. I'm not sure if you can see that all that well, but I'll put a picture up and uh, going to taste it basically. So it's the excreted sugar sap of these insects and uh, one of the best bush tuckers out there. And I know, yes, I'm going to put a knife in my mouth, but I'll be extra careful doing it. And it is delicious. It kind of reminds me of a manuka honey or... Um, almost a treacly type flavour to it, caramelish of sorts um, very sweet, very high sugar content and a great bush tucker so if you're out there stuck in the mountains in New Zealand you're looking for these black trunked beech trees you can't miss them and uh, also you can't miss the insects that are um, hanging off the tree with these little globules of um, sugary goodness so thanks for watching, um, hope you enjoyed the video and a bit of a tour out here and um, we'll catch you in the next one.